Ad Creative AI Review features walkthrough and everything you need to know. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys everything you need to know about Ad Creative. Ad Creative is an online tool that enables you to get started with generation of ad creatives, which is their name. You can generate text and headlines, build creative insight, create social media based posts, as well as ad packaging, insights with AI, and you can also generate product photo shoots. All of that under one application of Ad Creative. Plus, if you take a look at their pricing, their pricing is really 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 well you can get access to a free trial and then after that their starter plans start at $29 per month with 10 credits and the number of credits will increase depending on how much you want to use this so you can increase it to 25 credits and that would be nine that would be $69 and you can choose the one that fits your needs the best so to get started with Ad Creative, simply click on register on the top right and you can sign up with Google, Microsoft, or your email address. Once you do that, you're just going to choose your account and then click on continue. And once you click on continue, you can uh, allow Ad Creative to get access to some of your basic information. Uh, once you have created your account on Ad Creative, you can get started with actually setting up your brand. So we are going to go on ahead and we are just going to complete our payment info because you get a seven day free trial and then after that you do have to pay. So we're just going to put in our payment info and just like that, your registration on Ad Creative will be completed. Now, once you have set that up, it's time to get started with setting up your brand on Ad Creative. To do that, just go into brands and then click on create brand on the top. Now, in your brand, there are a few different things such as your brand name, description, brand logo, and brand colors. So first off, I will be importing this from my website and I want to create a brand for my Shopify store. So I am just going to be using my Shopify store as a point of reference from where I want to establish my brand and the overall appearance I want for my brand. So going into Ad Creative, I am just going to paste in a link to my particular website from there they can extract our logo brand name description brand colors if you don't have them already you can easily generate them as well now you can see it hasn't been able to detect my logo and you guys can see the brand you know brand info is a bit incomplete so i will add ruffles and this is going to be a online clothing store and now i'm just going to save that i can upload a logo over here so we are just going to use this as our logo and then we're going to confirm our logo and this will automatically take our logo and create our brand colors from there you will see that you will have your website colors with a link or choose from their ai recommended color palettes that have been tailored for you so let's say i want to use this as my particular color scheme and i'll click on save and continue then you can also go into their advanced setup. And if you go into the advanced setup over here, you will see that you have a few different things such as your font, your alternative logo, which you can upload as well, as well as your Google ad account, LinkedIn ad, or Pinterest ads. Once you have completed this info, click on create brand over here to get started with your brand. Now, once you have created your brand, you have a very vast selection of AI generated assisting tools. This includes things like your ad creatives, your product ad photos, as well as your ad videos, social creatives, ad packages, ad text, batch creative, and stock images. So let's start with ad creatives where you can generate ad creatives for your product or service with AI. Now I want this to be the size of a post because that is what we most commonly use. After you choose your size, you have to choose your display size. So for this, let's say I want this to be a medium banner or for me, I want this to be a social media size. And then after that, we are going to choose our on image text. So what is going to be your main line? You can see that you have 40 characters that you can add. So our main punchline is going to be our summer sale is here. And then below that, we can add our secondary punchline by now, save more like this and then our call to action should be here like this 
best trends this summer. And then after that, we have the call to action icon where we can select our call to action button. So we are going to search for buy this. We can add that over here. And then after that, we're going to go into our next step where you can upload a background image. So I can go on ahead and click on your library. And if you have any uploaded images or you can search for images in their database as well. So let's say I'm looking for e-commerce based clothing. Let's say I will have this particular picture. You can use some of their free images or upload your own as well. And then this is going to be my sample project. Then click on generate over here. Once you do that, your ad creative will now be generated. So you get a basic preview of what you are creating as well as the actual project. Now, if you want to take a look at how much this would cost to build manually, you would have to buy a separate building tool such as something along the lines of Canva, a Canva subscription, free artwork, free framing, free images. So all of that can end up costing you a lot more than a simple subscription to Ad Creative. And you will see there are different types of converting uh, styles that they have given me. And I can use a bunch of these instead of just having one design that would have taken me a couple of hours to build. I have multiple different designs that have now been created in a batch and I can easily download and get them out there in my Google ads and my Facebook ads and build different campaigns off of the same basic template. Now, moving on to some of the other advanced features of Ad Creative is when you have a project where you want to create a product photo ad because that is not something that you often think of as a AI based feature. However, it is now a AI based feature because you can just go on ahead and turn a basic image into a professional photo shoot with various backgrounds. So I want to build a simple product image and I want this to be a social media post size. Then you can upload your image. So first off, I'm just going to be uploading a regular image of one of our products. So I'll just use a reference image like this one over here. And we are just going to save this image. So now we have just uploaded this image of a simple tote bag. And with this tote bag, you guys can see that we have a free background remover as well. So we're going to use the free background remover and this would remove the background. And once we have this, we are going to scroll down and you will see the example. What is our product? So it's a brown bag. Then below that, we have to tell the AI more about our product. So this is a vegan leather tote bag, which is in a tan color. And then after that, I will just go into the next step and we are going to add the AI background style. So the AI will take into account what type of product this is. And then after that, it will provide us with different types of styles that we can pick up from. You will see that it can take a little bit of time when it comes to generating a lot of these ad creatives all together. So you do have to wait a couple of seconds for it to generate these AI background styles for you. And we're just going to wait for it to completely do so. And then click on next step over here. And we're just going to wait for the AI to generate our background styles. And after that, based upon your personal preferences, so you can choose a custom style. Uh, it has generated different types of styles for me. So a lush green mossy rock in a tranquil forest, a cozy window seat overlooking a rainy cityscape, sandy beaches, wooden beach in a sunlit garden. I think this looks pretty good. And then I can just click on generate. You can select upwards of six styles that you can generate with, but I'm just using one style so I can actually show you guys the finished ad creative that is generated for us. And just like that, such amazing product images have now been generated for our bag. And you guys can see our original image was just a simple bag in a uh, cement background. And in this way, you can build amazing product images with Ad Creative. You can do so much more, such as competitor analysis, inspo gallery visits, and creative scoring with AI for your particular ad campaigns as well. Plus, it also enables you to see your brand conversion and see which, which type of creatives perform the best. So you can choose what already works for e-commerce industries. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.